Hello there. Let's get started with this question. So 2.5 molar M1 HCl is given. It's diluted to 0.15 molar, that is M2 then. And then how much water is added? That is V1 minus V2. That's equal to volume of water, H2O added or even um, evaporated, right? So your V2 is 600 milliliters. These are the givens. So sort them out, label them the givens, right? We are looking for V1. That's the question. So plug into the M1, V1 is M2, V2. And what we need is we need the V1 and we need everything else in the other side of the equation, um, equal sign. So that would be M2, V2 divided by V1. Sorry, M1, right? So now, so it's a, if you're thinking this way, like divide this side M1 and the same thing divide the left side in by M1, M1 to M1 cancels out, you get M2, V2 divided by M1. So that's either way, you're gonna end up with this formula, right? V1 is equal to M2, V2, M1. So your M2 is 0 0.15 molar. We already labeled that one with the units plug in times V2 is 600 milliliter. You can actually leave the milliliter on in this type of questions. And then M1 is 2.5 big M. So now it should be 2.5 big M. Yes, 2.5 big M. M to M cancels out actually. Big M to big M cancels out. You left over with mils. So that's the whole point. So you don't need to convert milliliter to liter in this case, right? Uh, milliliters your answer uh, but if you convert to liters no harm your answer will be in liters right that's a safe bet i would say now so plug into the calculator six uh, so let's see so you get uh, 36 milliliters right yes so so that's, uh, if you get the liters, it would be 0.036, then you have to express in a milliliter value, right? Look at this question. Silver nitrate is given, um, two molarities given, and water is evaporated. So try to see it, just like in physics, try to put a sort of a free body diagram in a way, right? So that's a good uh, way to look at it. So silver nitrate, M1, 0.2, or molar gone into M2, which is point zero point eight zero molar, big M, right? So this is a transition from uh, low concentration to high concentration. So that's actually, if you remember my previous video that I gave you a little illustration, this is a minus water or removal of water, or, or you can say evaporation of water that will give you the M2 higher, right? Because of evaporation of water, right? We do that kind of things actually in laboratories, right? Now, so we can see 0.2 molar gone into 0.8 molar. You can get a um, unit or standard value for that one by dividing by the smaller value, right? So that way what happens is M1 went to the M2 right, or we concentrated into M2, how much? 0.8 divided by 0.2, which is four times, right? So that is four times, or, or multiply that one, right? So molarity goes four times higher, according to my illustration in previously, that means your volume should be, so the molarity is increased, but water is evaporated, so the amount of volume should be decreased. So how do we get that? The, uh, the mathematical process, if you multiply from A to B, then um, the other transition would be divided. So divided by four, 600 mils divided by four, it would be 150 milliliters, right? Now, what we need to figure out is now you have two um, initial milliliters and the final milliliters. We want to know the how much water disappeared. So the, that would be water milliliters, right? We understand M2 is higher, so water is lost, minus water. 
and how, um, how much that final volume is 150 milliliter lower because of the divide by four, right? So kind of see the mathematically if you can see this way, but even if you don't see this way, you can still use the formulas and solve the problem, right? Now M1, V1, M2, V2, you can even plug in there and you can get that value, right? So in this case, uh, yes. So we can get the V2, um, actually it should be, it should be divided by, yeah, M2, right? <laughs> yes, 0 0.02 um, and 600 milliliters and divided by, it should be not divided by M2, which is 0 0.8 big M, right? 0 0.8 big M, that's the correct one. The formula should be correct. So, okay, so now big M to big M cancels out. You get the milliliters. So you're gonna get the V2 is, let's see how much it should be. 150 milliliters, right? So that's a, that's a simpler way. If you want pictorial of the previous one, but this la lower three lines will give you the answer. So either way is fine. Now the tricky part, you have to understand water is gone away, lost water, minus water. That would be V1 minus V water. Volume of water is V1 minus V2. So now V1 is 600, V2 is 150. Take the difference. So the disappeared amount of water is 450 mils. Okay, all right, so let's move on. And I don't oh, know, I think it's that's all I have for this one. Thank you. Yes, next question actually, you can, it's a mixture question. So there's A and B together. Uh, we need, I need to teach you some other concept on this one. Look at the next video. Thank you.